Well, good morning and welcome back to Log Cabin Firewood. Today on the channel, we're gonna get this maple cleaned up out behind the shed out of the drainage ditch, and we got a new toy to play with. Stick around. So it is monsoon season in Maryland which is what we like to call it around here. And this over here is the drainage. You know, when it rains, everything comes from up here and drains through here and comes through this pipe and also comes through here and then drains back here, right where we cut up this maple last week. So I'm going to back the trailer up and we're going to get it loaded up. But I got a new toy to play with today. So we're not going to be doing this by hand. We're going to test my skills with this not so mini excavator. So this is the Sani or Sani SY80U. I believe it's like a 72 horsepower mini excavator, but it's not so mini. This is uh, it's a 20,000 pound machine. So uh, dude ranch DIY, mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> But yeah, this is not mine, this is my neighbor's. Uh, like I was saying last week, he lets me use all his stuff. And he messaged me to one day and said, come over, I wanna give you the code to my garage, and I'm gonna give you a key. He also has a New Holland, uh, about three sizes smaller than this, but it doesn't have the thumb on it yet. Um, he's gotta get the thumb attachment put on that one, or I would've used it, because this is way too much machine for what we're gonna do today. But we're going to just, We'll back the dump trailer down right here and I'll see if I can come over here and pick some of this stuff up and load it in the trailer. That should work. Oh, I'll back up just a touch more. So I'm not the best operator in the world. but I do have a little bit of experience with these. It's been a while since I've actually ran an excavator. But having a thumb on these is super awesome. And fortunately enough for me, my neighbor has all these cool pieces of equipment, so I don't have to spend $100,000 on an excavator. Um, I think he paid right about $90,000 for this. Um, he looked at the Kubota version of this machine, and it was upwards, I think it was like $140,000 or something. And I believe this is like a Chinese version of the excavator, the Kubota, but the warranty he got with this machine um, was super compar comparable to the Kubota stuff. I gotta get used to where this thumb is. I keep thinking it's the left thumb and it's the right. And I am going to end up either getting some DEF fluid because this machine does have the emissions on it. I'll get some DEF and put it in here for him. 
And he did say the bad thing with these machines with the emissions on them, uh, you have to run them wide open. You can't, if you idle it, that's when the, uh, the valves jam up on them. Let's see if I can grab a bunch instead of just grabbing one. Oh, I got two, there we go. But I'm all about making life easier and pieces of equipment make life super easy. So I had originally recorded this to come out next Saturday, but I messed up on my weekends. So we're headed over to the Hoosier Firewood Hysteria for the Howard County Vietnam Veterans Organization Campground next Saturday with k &L Firewood. Make sure you guys check that out. There's going to be a lot of cool things happening there. Which is always awesome to give back to people, you know. There's so many things we do in our life that, you know, I'm, I'm very fortunate for a lot of things that I have and I'm thankful for everything I have. But it's, it's nice to be able to give back to people sometimes. You know, helping Brad is one thing, helping Mike is another. You know, helping my neighbor out is something, but when you can actually help some veterans out that, you know, dedicated their life to our freedom, uh, it, it means a lot. Beta does not like this. The, uh, the thumb on this is like extremely long compared to the bucket. Or maybe I just need to figure it out. It's been a while since I've ran an excavator. But this is probably one of my favorite pieces of equipment to run. When I did concrete construction years ago, I had the luxuries of, we were subcontractors for a bunch of con other major contractors. And they would always give us a piece of equipment to load and unload our panels and our rebar and all that form work with. So I learned how to run a couple pieces of equipment which helped out with me on the railroad because that's what I do on the railroad is run equipment. And when you get older, not saying that I'm old, but when you get older, it's nice to be able to sit in a machine rather than get out on the ground and you know do all the labor intensive backbreaking work. Uh, yeah, I'd still do some labor intensive stuff sometimes, but my job primarily is to make the guys on the ground's life easier, you know, by assisting them, you know, getting stuff that they need and uh, moving the stuff around, you know, getting the hole graded right so the stuff that we put back in the ground goes back in the right way. See if I can get a whole bunch. I can get a whole bunch of dirt. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Uh, I guess I had three of them. My neighbor is pumping down their uh, house with a tiny pump. And it sucks because we're about to get more rain and he's had this pump going for about three days now. And uh, it's only been about eight inches of water that has moved out of their basement. I told him he needs to go get a three inch trash pump, go rent one or uh, get a two inch pump and just let it sit there for a couple days. A two inch pump will drain that thing. There we go, I got three of them that time. I was going to take my little push cart and just do one at a time with all this wood, but there's a good amount of wood here. And since my neighbor gave me the key to this excavator, why not take advantage of it? And I thought I had to work tonight, but the, supervisor just called and said uh 
because of the rain coming through, we're not going to do anything, which is okay because I've worked the past, uh, I forget how many days I've worked in a row. It's been ridiculous, but the money's good. I'm thankful for everything that I have. Um, you got to make hay when you can make hay, I guess, while the sun's shining. But I could definitely see where an excavator can be a major win for a firewood operation. Um, this is super easy. Super easy. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get those. Maybe get them with a, a bunch of stuff. But yeah, my neighbor, he bought this machine and he had a house in West Palm Beach, Florida. And he ended up selling that and getting a bunch of money. He just built that big, I think it's a 60 by 80 pole barn over there. He bought this excavator. He bought a New Highland tractor, a little that little uh, Workmaster tractor that I had over here the one day. And then he recently just bought a small mini excavator about the same size as that tractor. Um, but he's getting ready to retire from his main gig here soon, and he's going to go into, you know, doing some excavating on the side, well, to keep him busy when he retires. That's his plans anyway. You know, he's, uh, he took that money from that house that he had, and he's reinvesting it in himself, which is good to do. You know, if you got the money, you know, use it to make more money. And while everything is mostly, you know, 60 to 84 month interest free financing, I am shopping around for tractors. Um, I've been doing some research. It's not going to happen this year, but I even, uh, I have a Bobcat dealer near me. I have a New Holland dealer. I've got a John Deere. I've got a Mahindra. So there's, there's a few options I have. I'm not sure what I want to do or who I want to go with, but it's not going to happen this year because we want to pay my truck off, which, you know, I just bought that last year. So there's still a good chunk of change on it, but I think Taryn and I can get it knocked out in the next, you know, two years, hopefully with all the overtime I'm getting, I should be able to get it in the next couple years. I'm getting big old chunks of dirt.
Haha, -ha, we got two.
Well, having a mini excavator here, well, it might not be practical, but I've got a whole trailer load full of rounds. I even threw the cookies in here because they'll end up going to my boiler buddy. But my back doesn't hurt one bit. It's, it's really weird how my back doesn't hurt. <laughs> Making life easier. So while the Sani SY8OU might be a little bit overkill for what I just did, but like I said, my back doesn't hurt. Uh, we got everything cleaned up from back here. I did make a mess a little bit, you know, digging into the ground, but I tried to clean it up a little bit. I'm not the best excavator operator, but uh, we got the job done. But with the rain coming in, that's going to be it for this week. Uh, I'll probably get this thing over here a bunch more as I get some more tree service wood in here. Um, I might even get Taryn in here. She could pick the logs up while I chainsaw them. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But I thank each and every one of you for watching. I hope everybody has a great rest of your week. I'll see you back here next Saturday, 6.30 a.m. Take care of each other. See ya! Mm -hmm.